we're here today. Hi. Hi. Um, and we're doing a video today about this new project that I've got. Um, yeah. Apparently, I'm going to have a daughter. So, I'm here to help him, like, figure out what to do in, like, parenthood stuff. Exactly, Sally. Thank you. This is Sally. Yeah. I'm Arnie Lee, the adorable American. And I'm going to have a daughter, and I don't, I haven't had one before, yeah. and I'm really just, I don't want to screw it up, you know? I want it to be a good kid. So, yeah. who else to get, you know, advice from but yeah. a daughter? Yeah. And I'm a daughter, so. Yes. So, yeah. um... It's my cousin's daughter, and I'm thinking that she might know something yeah. about raising girls. Like, what do I do? What do I not do? Yeah. You know? And we can take the examples of, like, her parents, you know, the, the best things they did yeah. and the things like, that she didn't like at all. Like, yeah. for example, I always hated it when you take a baby and then they got, like, snot hanging out, and then the parent takes the the you know, washcloth or something and really just like messes their whole face up. And I mean, I'm all for yeah, removing the snot, but it's yeah. like the... <laughs> yeah, my parents did that to me and it hurts sometimes. It hurts. And then the baby's crying yeah. and then, you know, but then... Hurts. But yeah, but you don't want snot, but... Because that's you, disgusting. Right. It's disgusting. But yeah. you, you don't need to like, you know, you know, relocate the, the kid's nose or something or, yeah. or, you know, scrape it. I mean, it's just, you know... Yeah. So, so what other, um, what are the advice, I guess, Sally, that you could give me being a soon-to-be father um, of a daughter? What, what kind of advice can you give me? Well, put the, the protector things on the sharp corners because that's important so they don't get hurt. Okay, so like, yeah. um, or we could have everything could be round. I could just buy round things. Yeah, and if you don't want to do that, then just put stuff on there so that it's not sharp. Right. You know, when your dad was a kid, uh, I remember that every time he came to visit, your grandparents, um, your grandparents would, like, wire this wood around that table upstairs, yeah. you know, with the sharp metal on it. Yeah. Um, so that the kid wouldn't wouldn't um, get hurt on it. Yeah. So, so you do have, in your family, you guys yeah. did do that. And so yeah. I need to have not sharp, sharp corners. That's yeah. really good. I wouldn't have necessarily thought of that till, till the first time the kid went to the hospital, you know, probably. Yeah. So, so that's a great idea. What other, uh, what other advice can, can you give me? Um, and how should I, what should I do or not do as a father of a daughter? Vegetables! The best thing ever. For or against vegetables, Sally? We're for the vegetables. For vegetables, okay. Feed them vegetables. Feed them uh, anything else? Mm -hmm. You know, what happens if they, like, stick... If my daughter sticks carrots in her nose, for example? Um... That's bad, right? Yeah. So do we have, like, a nose protector or something? Is there some kind of screen you put over? Maybe no, that's... No, that's not a thing. Okay, so... Eating vegetables, good. Yeah, maybe like make it a game. Okay, to eat the vegetables? Yeah, like if you eat this amount of vegetables, then you'll get a new toy. Because oh, bribery. So <laughs> yeah, if you want them to work. do something, say do this and I'll give you a toy or something, right? Or give you the privilege to... Do this thing that you want to do that we don't let you do. Okay, like, you know, run into corners of tables or what? Yeah, probably not that, maybe. Okay, but other things. Watch TV. Oh, watch TV. Okay. Yeah. Okay, like, good. Obviously, child-appropriate things, like uh, cartoons like and stuff. Like horror movies and, uh, you know, war <laughs> like cartoons, action flicks. and Maybe cartoons. Cartoons, like, okay. But how like about, like, chick Disney flicks, you know? You know what a chick flick is? No, I have no oh, idea. Oh, it's like what these romantic is. movies that a lot of times 
Sometimes like girls, women like to watch, and then it's not. Yeah, maybe not that. Yeah, not that. Yeah, you don't want to yeah. start them too early on the romantic movies and the chick flicks. That ain't good. Yeah, so, like I guess if they want to, they can do that when they're like an adult. Yeah. Or a teenager or whatever age. Right. That you should start that at. Right. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I, I don't know either. I haven't. Yet. Yeah, but I haven't. Okay, so it's yeah. after your age, certainly, but yeah. um. Well, this is good stuff, really. I, I yeah. appreciate it. So basically, uh, try to feed them vegetables. Bribe them if you need to. Make sure they do not, my daughter does not stick carrots up her nose. Have some <laughs> kind of protect else. Or anything else. Have some form of protective device for the nose. Or maybe just force them to not do it by giving them punishments, I guess. If they punishments? Yeah, oh, like, good. Punishments A good solid beating? No. No. Probably like, you can't do this thing that you like to do for a little while because you did this. Okay, Whatever so you punish doing. them. So we've yeah. got bribery and we've got punishment. Okay. Yeah. So what That's kind of punishment do you think is so, like, taking things away from them, you know, they don't get to play with, I don't know, food or... You, you feed them, though, right? You yeah, continue like to feed them? If, Even if they're bad, do you continue to feed them? Yeah, like, if they do something bad with their food or something, then take away one of their favorite toys for a oh, little while. And can I play with it? Sure. <laughs> Good. <I'm, laughs> I think my daughter might be really bad because um, we'll have some really cool toys. So, um, okay, what else, uh, what else are you thinking? Um, what did you learn from your parents that was, uh, you know, really, really good in raising a daughter? Well, they taught me how to shut a car door and open a car door and, like, buckle my seatbelt. Oh, a seatbelt. Okay. But yeah. you don't have to wear it. Yeah, you should yeah. still wear a seatbelt. Okay, you should wear the seatbelt and know how to buckle it. <laughs> yeah, okay. because when I was little, obviously I didn't know how to do that. Right, right. Yeah, and it actually took me a while to learn how to open a car door. Really? Yeah, it took me a little while. Hmm, from the inside or outside? Or? From the outside, yeah. because that's probably the most useful. Okay, so try to teach her that before the first birthday, you're thinking? <laughs> Probably when they're, like, able to walk and okay. do stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, when you're going to start having, like, stuff to do when they need to open the door so that they can get in and buckle their seatbelt while the parents are putting groceries in the car because... Okay, yeah. groceries. Got it. Okay, so when do, when do I have my daughter start to pay her own bills? When she's older. Older. Like five, <laughs> four, five. five. Older than me. Okay. Well, you pay utilities, don't you? No, I don't. No, do that. no utilities. <laughs> um, okay. Well, we'll get to that. Um, yeah. Okay. So, what else? What else do you think I had a teacher? So, opening a car door. Yeah, that's very closing important. Closing it. Uh, putting a seat belt on. Yeah, those are important things. So that you don't have the incident that my dad kind of, like, what, whatever it would be to have an incident, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Probably Where there were some like, incidents. There's no time when I was like, can you buckle my seat belt? <laughs> and he was like, there's no time. Yes. So it takes a lot of time to buckle children in. So Apparently. So can you just, you know, put them in the far back seat, you know, or on the floor? Can you put uh, them on the floor? No. With pillows. You put them in the with pillows. We did that when we were kids. Without pillows. No. But uh, it's no, not that, good that's idea, That's never though. happened to me, so. Okay. You've always worn a seat belt or a Yeah. Except for car the time. Seat. Yeah, except for the times when I was with my friends mm -hmm. in a minivan and I couldn't mm -hmm. buckle the seatbelt, but I never told anyone because oh. I didn't want to. So okay. Then I rode without a seatbelt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you'll be grounded for that when your parents see this video, you think? 
No, I actually no. already told them. Okay. Yeah. So. How'd they take it? Was yeah. was your dad crying or was he all right? No, my dad wasn't there. I only told my mom. Oh. And she was like, you should tell them. Yes. Uh, she's yeah. probably right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so overall, it's really easy to raise a daughter. Is that what? Probably not. Probably not. Hmm. What are the hard parts about raising a daughter, do you think? Buying stuff. Buying stuff? Like what kind of stuff? Like those really expensive toys. My daughter doesn't like expensive toys. How do you know? I'm she's just, I know my, who knows my daughter better than me? I mean. Yeah, but she's not in the world yet. Oh. She's not actually a thing. See, I think my daughter would like playing with like, you know, bottles of water. You know, I mean, yeah. or like if she, or like bottles without water, you know, plastic, you know, I think we, I could get her like a new toy, a plastic bottle toy, like about every day or two <laughs> that would kind of keep it interesting, you know, different, different colors. And so you think that would be okay no. for a daughter to raise her with plastic no. bottle toys? No. She could like make pretend they're Legos and she could she could do bowling. You know, after like a week and a half, ten days, she'd have a bowling set. Yeah, but then well, after a while the ball. Huh. We could buy something, I don't know. Or hmm, Yeah, and also we'll have most to work Legos are pretty cheap. Yeah, they are. Or at least some of them. Hmm. Except for, like, the really big Lego sets. Really big Lego sets. Okay, yeah. don't get those. And they More also get the plastic have, bottles is what I'm thinking. And they also have, like, like larger Lego bricks so that it's easy for your kid to not choke on them. Okay, you don't so that, want your daughter to choke on them? Is that right? No. No, okay. So, like, those are easier for that kind of stuff. Okay, so we'll get a big... Legos shaped like plastic bottles is what I'm thinking, um, you know, and can be made into bowling sets. Um, you and, know, you probably could do that with those Legos because they're actually pretty big. Yeah. So okay. you probably could make like bowling pins and a little bowling ball out of some of them. Okay, good. Yeah, like you could probably do that. Nice. So, um... Let's see, anything that uh, you think I really ought to be worried about um, being a, a new father, you know, to a daughter? Anything I should be concerned about? Or is um, pretty easy raise one? Diapers. Diapers? <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't like diapers. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, can't we just get her, I don't know, little dresses? Cute little dresses, I'm thinking more. Yeah, but what about them getting dirty? Because there's no diaper. <laughs> oh, hadn't thought yeah. of that. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. So, hmm. They don't, daughters don't take care of themselves. Is that right? No. No. Until mm. they're older, like me, okay. I can take care of myself. Okay. And well, can I have one? Okay. Can I have my daughter born, like, older? Like you or something or past diaper age? No, can, that's not a thing. Can we just like wait till she's like three or something like that? No, by three they're probably in pull ups still. Okay. Which are kinda like underwear, but yeah. for nighttime, which is oh, a little bit. I should bit be easier. writing this down. Okay. <laughs> pull ups. Okay. Yeah, and they have some with like cute characters from cartoon movies. Okay, good. And good. shows that are on like Disney and stuff. Oh, really? Okay, so yeah, it can be a fashion so, accessory. Yeah, I guess underwear is fashion more accessory. Fun. Yeah. Okay, so you have you have diapers, and then you have some called pull-ups. Yeah. Anything else in between? Um. Before you go to full-blown underwear. No, it's either diapers. Uh huh. Underwear for the day and then pull-ups for nighttime. Oh, okay. And then eventually they learn how to do the normal stuff called mm -hmm. holding your pee in. Oh, really? Until you wake up because you need to go to the bathroom or just oh. waiting until the morning. Okay, so I could, but can I have a kid born like that? No, that's not a thing. Huh. Well, we'll have to get going on that right from day one. 
think. Um, have you seen a lot of babies uh, when you've been growing up? Seen a lot of people with babies? Yeah. Yeah. They're kind of annoying because they cry a lot. Cry. I, yeah, I don't want to cry her. So I'm yeah. thinking my daughter's not going to cry. <laughs> She's going to be very happy, healthy, happy. I don't, I don't want a crying baby, you know? Yeah. So I can order one that way. No, that's not I want an, either. I want a, a non-crying baby that doesn't run into sharp objects. Yeah, that's not a thing. Doesn't have to have their nose, you know, like wiped a lot <laughs> and doesn't have, you know, is, is potty trained, basically. Um, yeah, that's sort of what I'm looking for. Well, teaching for the win. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Well, Sally, this has been a fascinating um, exploration into my new upcoming fatherhood. I'm very excited about it. Um, are you yeah. excited to have a little cousinlet? Um, yeah, I'm going to have family? another cousin. Another. Wow. Wow. I have so many. Yeah, you have a lot of cousins. Insane. Well, that's really neat. Yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm I'm a little uh little concerned here. Um it doesn't sound as easy as I was thinking this yeah. whole having a daughter is going to be. Yeah, and also I would like to mention this before we end the video, but buy those potty training mini toilets that don't actually flush, but you can pretend that they do. I should buy one of those. Yeah. For, for myself. Like, for like when they're getting potty trained. Oh. Yeah, and like they have cute faces and they can talk sometimes and light up because the talking light up <laughs> fake toilet. Yeah, because that's what kids like. I they guess. like talking light up fake toilets. <laughs> I guess. And hopefully <laughs> bottled water. I'm I'm thinking my daughter really likes that and she's going to be absolutely amazing so. So um well, I appreciate you giving me all this advice and I'm going to see um come yeah. coming up how it works uh yeah and and i might have some other questions as um yeah. as she starts to mm -hmm. like as she gets here um so is and it okay like, if i can call you or or uh, whatever would work. whatever yeah to mm -hmm. to find out some more well, about how to raise a daughter because yeah. you seem like pretty well adjusted a good kid okay i wouldn't ask every but kid you know, you yeah. only want to ask the good ones out of your yeah, good kid. Like, like me? Yes. Yeah. This is why I'm asking you because um, yeah. you need to have a good kid to ask the question because I'm, I'm yeah. looking to have a good kid. I mean, if I wanted a bad kid, I'd ask me, but I already know the answers, you know. Or if yeah. it was a little boy, I'd say, oh, my God, you know. Yeah, um, like leave him could, on somebody's doorstep is what I would say, but yeah, or you could like ask my cousin, Brad. Yeah, Brad yeah. would know more about that. Yeah, Absolutely. if he remembers any of the, his like single digits era. Yeah, I guess you could call it the single digit era, and <laughs> which uh, is what I'm at. Yeah, but you're you're fastly outgrowing the single digits, moving into the double digits. And, yeah. you know, once you get there, you're stuck there a while. I mean, it's a long, yeah. long thing in double digits. And <laughs> yeah, because then you have to wait till you're 100. Exactly, and that is a long time. Yeah, and that's probably where most people are going to stop because that's kind of where people have really confidence. So. Yeah, that's probably what yeah. happens. So. Yeah. Well, hmm. Yeah. Well, it sounds like this whole daughter thing is really good and uh, pretty easy, and you, it's not that hard to come up with a good kid like you. So not. I, so I appreciate your your wise advice, and uh, we'll um, we'll check back with you to see if I have any questions coming up. Um, and uh, yeah, well, thank you, yeah. Sally. This has been very informative. I am uh, Arnie Lee Fagan, the adorable American. Uh, here with my cousinlet Sally, giving advice on how to have a raise and raise a really good daughter. Thank you, Sally. You're welcome. Bye.